Well, the weather outside yucky, it's rainy, it's cold, I've graduated to a long sleeve shirt, summer's over, and I figured it was a great time for some Texas goulash. Don't know what else to call it, it's made with ground beef and beans and pasta and tomato sauce and things like that, so I'm going to make that for dinner today. I'm going to use my old black skillet. Some some lady wrote and wanted to know why I didn't wash this filthy thing. It's been almost a hundred years getting it in the shape it's in now. The worst thing you can do with a steel skillet is wash it. Start out with some oil and some ground beef. and just start breaking it up as it cooks. This just came out of the freezer a little while ago and it's still frozen in the middle. Now that the meat's cooking good and broken up, I'll add some chopped onions. and some garlic. There it is, one o'clock in the afternoon and this will be served about three o'clock or so in the middle of the afternoon for dinner, early dinner. Onions are done. I've decided to go with Italian, which means I'll use white beans in it. If I was going with Mexican, I'd use pinto beans. But I'm using Italian seasoning here, just mixed Italian herbs. Takes quite a bit of it to do that. That should do it. white beans diced tomatoes with the juice and a can of tomato sauce now when you use tomato sauce which is canned with vinegar you also want to put in some sugar to offset the vinegar in the tomato sauce and just stir this together while it cooks okay the pasta water is boiling put in the pasta I'm using elbow macaroni that was kind of the traditional is always used in this however you can use any kind of pasta you like this will take about 10 minutes to cook to the right consistency. Put it on in some salted water here. Stir it until it gets ready to start boiling again. There it goes. Okay, the pasta's been on for 10 minutes. I'll check it and see if it, be sure it's done. Yeah, it is, so now I'll drain it. And you want to save a cup of the pasta liquid. Tell you about it later. Okay, it's drained, so go right in here. And the reason I'm saving a little of the pasta water, because as soon as you put pasta in the meat, 
dish like this, it thickens up and you use, save some of that pasta water and it makes ideal to loosen it up with. I'm going to have to go for a spoon here. See how it loosened it up to where it'll mix? Turn the toast on here for this garlic toast. Can use just a little bit more liquid. And this is ready to serve. So we'll take it to the table. Just serve out of the pan. And here it is on the table. We'll serve the people in a few minutes as soon as the garlic toast is done.